Welcome to MSD's Partner in Reproduction series. My name's Catherine Heffernan, and today I'm here in County Limerick with Brendan Ryan, and in this video, we are going to discuss technology to optimize fertility performance. So Brendan, if you'd like to tell us a little bit about what you're doing here on this farm. Yeah, so I'm farming here in partnership with my parents um, here in Oula, County Limerick. Uh, recently returned home, full-time farming two years ago. We're on our third year, starting the third year on a lease farm over the road. We're milking in two uh, milking blocks, one owned, one leased. Um, we have 250 cows calved this spring, uh, where we calve all the cows at home and we just milk on the other farm. How has the calving gone so far for you this year? Our calving started was 31st of January. We obviously started, there was calves coming from the 20th of January on. We had 42 out of 60 uh, in calf to our sink program. Uh, calved before they're due start dead on the 5th of February. We have a lot of early heifer calves and obviously we've replaced a big number of Frisian bull calves due to a lot of beef used last year because we used a lot of sex semen. You mentioned, Brendan, you used a lot of sex semen, so we'll come back to that maybe uh, later on. But you are a good bit ahead this year on your calving rate. Yeah. Um, you know, what method of heat detection would you have used in the past? So back the year before last, um, it was all tail paint. So between the two yards and to be honest, it was, um, it was quite labor intensive and really when you get to the stage three weeks before breeding where you should be pre-breeding, it's not really done because it's so, such effort in it. And obviously in bad weather like this, this time of the year, the collars are giving us a lot of information with cows that are anestrous and that need to be scanned. So we're scanning cows a lot earlier and also we're getting them back in the first three weeks of breeding. Brendan, you mentioned that you're using tail paint in the past. What heat detection method are you using now? So we're Sensub um, collars on the cows and an all flex drafting gate. Um, last year was our first year using it for breeding season. Already we have, we're on target for 10% more uh, of a six week calving rate compared to the last breed or last calving season. Okay, and would that have been the reason you installed the system or what was the main reason that you installed the yeah, system? Yeah, um, I had heard a lot a lot about it and checked up a lot on it and um, we said we decided we'd go for it also for the labour efficiency on the farm as well. Obviously milking on two farms uh, can be quite complicated uh, when not kept simple. So um, at breeding season time here, anyone can milk the cows, uh, bring in the cows in the evening time, set the gates, uh, milk the cows and the cows that are on heat or in the yard after milking. And the AI man just comes, AI the cows and the cows are locked in. It's such an easy system. We had uh, two family weddings last year in May and it's such stress free at that time knowing that all the cows were caught for AI and AI that time. And you're running the two farms uh, kind of side by side. How does that work for you then on your sense of app in terms of the cows coming into heat? Uh, yeah, so we have two different groups. Um, one says Rogers and one with default. So all the animals at home are default. And uh, when we move over back and forth, uh, we change the cows for meat farm. So there's a drafter here in the home yard and that's um, on heat in the home yard is drafted through. And over on the other farm, I have them in a group and I just hand draft them out. How has the drafting gate been so far? Oh, it's an absolute gift. Like there's, for anyone that's milking here at home, um, there's nothing to do. I just have the app on my phone or whoever, whoever else, there's a couple of people that have it on their phone. So anything that's on heat is just in the air. Um, and I do plan on installing one for the upcoming breeding season on the other farm. How are you using SenseHub now in terms of your pre-breeding preparation? So when we're using the SenseHub app then, if I see an Easter's cows pop up, I'll um, get them scanned and washed out or whatever has to be done. And this really has pulled me back, pulled back a lot of the lake calvers that have went further out of me in the last two or three years. Um, and it's in turn after rising our six week calving rate this year 10%. And you'll check that list then throughout the breeding season as they're not cycling for 30 yeah, days? Yeah, like I'd, it's, uh, I'm checking them the whole time. So if, even if there's one or two of them there on it, I'm not waiting for a group of cows to get scanned or anything like that. They're used and also when I was back without the collars uh, using tail paint, it just wasn't being done because it's too busy, busy of a time of year. There's no work involved in this. It's just literally open up your app. We discussed uh, sex semen. I suppose, do you want to tell me a little bit about um, how it, you, it's working here in your farm? Yeah, so back before we had the collars and the cows, we would have attempted um, a couple of times uh, cows, um, putting sex semen into cows, watching them in the evening and trying the iron in the morning and vice versa. And uh, it just, we just we were a bit weary about it, like it wasn't really successful. So it, putting the collars on the cows and having the breeding window on the app 
um, gave us great confidence to go ahead and use a good lot of sex semen and cows this year. We replaced uh, 50 Frisian bulls with beef stock this year due to using sex semen, more sex semen with the collars and uh, that's given us the confidence to go full sex semen next year and no Frisian bulls in the yard. How has Sense Hub helped you um, in terms of health so far this spring? Yeah, so I use the, the health and the app uh, an awful lot in the spring because uh, especially I do a lot of grazing in tricky conditions. Uh, we've over, just over 30% of the farm grazed and it has shown me a couple of times that I've maybe tightened the cows a bit much on grass or real, had to reallocate them on silage at night time or grass during the day um, to increase their health threat. So far we, we've no L LDA got this spring which would have, might have been a bit of a, an issue back in the past. Thank you for watching. In our next video, Eleanor Brady will speak with Dennis Howard on selecting best cows for sex semen and synchronization.